Getting ready for sixth grade, lesson six, essential question. How can you convert between fractions, decimals, and percents? Unlock the problem. Every percent and decimal number can also be written as a fraction. All fractions can be written as decimals and percents. For example, two-fifths of the songs in Bonnie's music collection are country songs. What percent of her song collection is country? So we're being asked what percent of her song collection is 20. The important information is that we know that two-fifths are country. And so to solve this, we need to um, convert a fraction to a percent. So, And that's what they say, right? The percent that is equivalent to two-fifths. So step one is to actually set up the equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100. Remember, percents and decimals all have to do with 100. And so fractions need to be based out of 100. So we need to make 5 become 100. And how do we do that? Well, 100, when it, something's based out of 100, I really do think about money because there's 100 pennies in a dollar, so it's a hundred cents in a dollar. I feel like money is something that I just use a lot. And so I know that it takes 20 nickels or five times 20 uh, to get to a hundred. And so that's what they wrote right here. Uh, there's the 20. So if we multiply the denominator by 20, we also have to multiply the numerator by 20. That's what makes it an equivalent fraction. So 2 times 20 equals 40. And they've written that in for you. And so now it's 40 out of 100. That's the hard work. It's done. The last step is to actually just write your fraction as a percent. And 40 out of 100 is 40%. So we know that 2 fifths equals 40% or with the percent symbol. Also, to just throw it out there, I know it's leading up to it, but since we know the percent, since we know it's 40 out of 100, decimal-wise, that would be 40 hundredths. Again, just a side note. So now let's look at some more examples. We're only going to look at the A column first where it says write 8 25ths as a decimal. So again, the first step with fractions is to make sure that we have an equivalent fraction with the den denominator of 100. And so what do I need to multiply 25 by to make it 100? And I had to multiply it by 4. So that means I have to do the top by 4 as well. So we have 8 times 4 is 32, 25 times 4 is 100. Now that I have my, the hard part done, I have 32 hundredths. That's 32 out of 100. Just have to write it as the decimal. And they did that right there. So as a percentage, if it's 32 hundredths, that's also going to be 32 I am hoping you're seeing a pattern here. Part B says write 90% as a fraction in the simplest form. So simplest form tells us that you may have to reduce. Okay, reduce. So step one, we have 90%. We need to write it as a fraction. So we take it straight, 90 out of 100, written right there, 90 out of 100. Now we need to simplify it. What is a factor of both of those? Well, they both can be multiplied, or you can multiply a number by 10 to get both of those. So we divide by 10, which they did right here, and that reduces it down into 9 tenths. So 9 tenths is the simplest form is a fraction. As a decimal, hmm, nine tenths, or even 
90 hundredths, but it's still easier to write it just as 9 tenths. Now let's just flash back to yesterday's homework or lesson assignment. How are 9% and 90% alike when written as decimals, and how are they different? Well, if we look at 9%, it's decimal 0, 09, and then 90% is decimal 90. So they both have 9s and zeros, but they're just in different spots. So I really hope that you've noticed the pattern. So if we look right here on step two, this one really helps just show the pattern. We have the percent is 90, and then the fraction has 90 in the numerator, and then decimal wise, it's 90 hundredths. So the 90 is consistent across all of them. In B, you can simplify the fraction, and that's okay, but 90, is consistent. If we look right here in A, the numerator with the denominator of 100, the numerator is 32, the decimal has a 32 in it, and the percent has a 32 in it. That's a very important pattern when working with fractions, decimals, and percents. For the Share and Show, make sure that you read all the directions for each question. And when working with fractions, make sure that you're working with a denominator of a hundred. So if you need to find equivalent fractions, make sure that you're making the denominator a hundred and then multiplying whatever you multiply the denominator by, you also multiply the numerator by. That's what makes it an equivalent fraction. So press pause while you work through the share and show, and then press play when you are ready to go over the answers. For problem number one, it walks you through the steps um, to write 7 20ths as a percent. So the step uh, question one says, what factor should you multiply the denominator and the numerator by to get 100? 20 times what will give you 100? 20 times 5 will give you 100. So that's what you should multiply by. So if you need to write 5 in that because you need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 20 or by 5 sorry so for 7 20ths what is an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100 so now you just multiply it out 7 times 5 is 35 and 20 times 5 is 100 so your equivalent fraction is 35 hundredths so now that we have it in the base of 100, we can answer number 3. What is percent is equivalent to 7 20ths? Well, we take our 35, our numerator, out of 100, and it's 35%. For number 4, they want 1 fourth as a decimal. Now I'm going to work through how to turn this into the... Basically, for the decimal, it'd be good to have it in the denominator out of 100, but it's a benchmark decimal uh, and fraction, so I'm hoping that you are able to just know what is one-fourth of 100. Um, but four times what would equal 100? Well, I know there's four quarters in 100, so I would need to multiply it by 25. And so that means that my numerator would be 25, which means that my decimal is going to be 25 hundredths. Number five, with three tenths as a percent, it still needs to be out of 100. And so I need to multiply my numerator and denominator by something so that my denominator is 100. 10 is my denominator. I'm going to multiply it times 10 to give me 100. So that means I need to multiply my numerator times 10. So that's going to be 30 out of 100. And so 30 out of 100 is the same as 
percent. For number six, they gave us the percent of 80% and they want it as a fraction. So, 80% is the same as 80 out of 100. So now I need to think, what can I divide both of them evenly by? What's a factor they have in common? Well, I could use 10 and that would bring it down if I divided both by 10. That would bring it down to 8 tenths, but that's still not as low as it can go. They're even numbers. So at this point, let's just even divide it by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. And so 4 fifths is the same as 80%. Or you could have noticed, and I'll write it right here, that if you just divided it both by 20, we would have ended up with 4 fifths. But either way, either path, you still get to 4 fifths. Now that you're done with the Sharon Show, uh, work on the On Your Own. Press pause while you work, and when you are finished, press play to check your answers. Okay, so number seven, I hope that you know what one half of 100 is without having to multiply that out. One half of 100 is 50, so one half is the same as 50%. Anything with the denominator of 10, if you just multiply it times 10 to get the 100, so that's going to be 90 out of 100, and so it's going to be 90%. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to show the work up here and the answers, but I'm not going to talk through it. I'm just going to be um, having them pop up in a row. And I realize I just made a mistake on number eight. I wanted it as a decimal, not a percent, so that should be decimal 90 or decimal 9. Nine tenths. On number nineteen, they give you the information of fin finished nine twentieths of the book. They want to know what is still needed to read, but they want to know it in a percent. So you need to find out 9 twentieths as a percent. So she's read 45%, but what's still needed? So we need to do 100% minus 45%. And you do that and you end up with 55. And so she still needs to read 55% of the book. Number 20 is similar. They want to know what percent is still needed to do, but they told you that 4 25ths was completed. So you should have found 4 25ths as a percent, which equals 16%, and then found the missing portion to add up to 100, which is 84%. So he still has quite a bit of his math homework to work on.